All right, so another example here, finding uh, an angle between vectors. So vector A here has components 2, 3, 5. Vec vector B has components 1, 6, negative 4. The first thing I'm going to do is find the magnitudes of the vectors. So let's see, we'll get 2 squared, which is 4, 3 squared, which is 9, 5 squared, which is 25. So that's going to be 13 plus 25, which is going to give us 38. To find the magnitude of B, we'll do, again, just square all the components. So 1 squared is 1, 6 squared is 36, and negative 4 squared is going to be 16. So if we add those, let's see, 36 and 16 is going to be 52, plus 1 is going to give us 53. Now we also have to compute the dot product of these two vectors. So there we'll multiply respective components. So 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 6 will be 18. We'll have um, 5 times negative 4, which is going to be negative 20. So that's going to give us 20 minus 20, or 0. All right, so now we have cosine of theta equals the dot product, uh, a dot b, which is 0, over the magnitude of a. I almost wrote the magnitude of a. So it's the dot product over the magnitude of a, which is the square root of 38, times the magnitude of b, which is the square root of 53. But who really cares, because 0 over anything is going to be 0. So we have cosine of theta equals 0. Well, this is going to give us the angle uh, pi over 2, or 90 degrees. So what that tells us is, actually, these two vectors are uh, perpendicular. They're going to be uh, crossing at a nice right angle if we uh, you know, place them next to each other.